adorable triangle Santa and round reindeer using almond sugar cookies. Hello everyone, starting off with a large bowl and one cup of butter that's been softened or brought to room temperature. Add to that one and a half cups of white granulated sugar and beat those things together until they are fluffy and light. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of almond extract, and one quarter cup of milk. Two eggs, blend that together and add half a teaspoon of baking powder and one half cup of ground almonds. Then stir that together and then we're going to add three cups of flour a little bit at a time and when you get to the end of the three cups you may have to use a wooden spoon instead of your mixer because it starts to get quite thick. Once your batter is combined, you're going to separate it into two portions and put them in plastic bags or wrap them in parchment paper or wax paper and refrigerate them for at least two hours. I know that seems like a long time, but this dough is super sticky. It takes a lot of chilling for it to be usable and workable. I flatten the dough out so that it chills faster. That's the only reason. Once it's chilled, you're going to roll it out between sheets of waxed paper or between sheets of parchment paper. Just makes it a lot easier and you don't have to add a lot of extra flour to your dough. Roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thickness. Then you're going to cut out your shapes. For the reindeer, it's just simple circles. I'm using a biscuit cutter because I just like the handle, but you can use any circle cutter, including the top of a drinking glass would work quite nicely for this as well. Now the secret to these cookies is that once I'm done punching out all those circles. I'm not going to try to pull those circles out. I'm going to leave it just the way it is on a big flat piece of dough with circles in it and put it into the freezer right on the cookie sheet for about 15 minutes. And then using a thin spatula, you should be able to pop those little circles right out and put them on a cookie sheet. This dough does not spread very much so you can crowd the cookies quite a bit on your cookie sheet. Now for the triangle Santas, you need triangles. Imagine that. Uh, I using a knife. I mean, you can use a ruler to make them nice and straight, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. Now, this is the same advice for these ones. Take it just the way it is now and put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and it'll be a lot easier to get those triangles out intact. And we're going to need an egg yolk paint to put the red color on the Santa cookies. So that's one egg yolk with a couple of drops of water added and some food color. I'm using this concentrated uh, food color from AmeriColor. It's called Super Red. And just stir it around until it's a nice color or the color that you want. Then you're going to paint your cookies with it. This is the first time I ever tried this egg wash paint method and I was very much intrigued by it. Then using a brand new paintbrush, you can just paint on the details that you need for your Santa Claus. Now the model I'm following is actually one I found in a magazine and it's a Better Homes and Gardens publication called Christmas Cookies. And I usually buy their Christmas cookie book every year. So I continue to paint on the details, the, the Santa hat and the Santa coat. And don't forget to paint on the sides a little bit as well. Then you're going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 to 10 minutes until the cookies are just the lightest shade of brown on the bottom and on the edges. And the two dots I'm putting here, those aren't eyes, those are actually red dots on Santa's cheeks. You'll see what I mean in a minute. There is the baked cookies. You can see there's not a whole lot of a difference. They don't change very much once they're baked. Now to decorate, um, I'm adding a little star candy for the top of the hat. And then a little red miniature M&M for the nose. Two black frosting dots for eyes. Some white eyebrows and white frosting and more white frosting along the edge of Santa's hat. And then a bunch of white swirls for Santa's white beard. I mean, you can use any kind of frosting you want for this. And then three black dots for the buttons on Santa's coat. And there they are, done. And now for the reindeer. I just love how simple this design was. So some black frosting to draw the antlers. Two little black dots for the eyes, nice and close together because we all know reindeer have beady little eyes. And then you're going to add a 
Red M&M or Red Smarty for the nose. I found this idea on Pinterest and I'll provide a link in the description box to the original site where I found it. So here are all the Santas that I did make all side by side. And after I put them this way, I realized that if you made a whole bunch of them and you made a complete circle with them, just how cool that would look on a serving platter with all the points of the hats in the middle of the circle. I think it would look great. Now, as far as the egg wash paint goes, I was actually quite impressed the way these turned out. The color stays nice and vibrant even after baking. The surface kind of got mottled a little bit and there was a little bit of cracking in the egg wash paint, but it kind of gave them a vintage kind of a tarnished old fashioned kind of a look, which I really liked. The cookies themselves, these almond sugar cookies are quite good. They're not super, super hard and crunchy, but they hold up quite well to decorating and I love the flavors of almonds. So to me, these were great. So I hope you give these a try. Thanks for watching. Every year I make a big pile of all different kinds of cookies to hand out as gifts and for cookie platters. So what you're seeing on your screen is a collection of cookies that I've made in the past and I took some photos of the platters that I had made up and photos of this edible cookie bowl that I also filled with a variety of cookies. Each one of the cookies that you see on your screen I have as a recipe video on my channel. I've gathered them together into a cookie playlist. So if you're interested, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the description box. Bye-bye.